Hello fellow knights, Finn here, and welcome back to DDLT Plus for some more Side Stories goodness. Well, saying more is more of a detriment or something like that because we're now down to the last side story, which is of course, Self Love featuring Yuri and Natsuki. Anywho, we're down to the last side story is, of course, what happened last time from the previous side story if you haven't seen it already, uh, again, annotations right next to here and as well as the playlist. Well then. I guess we're down to the last one, fellow knights. Uh, I have no words to say, but uh, you guys know what time it is. And what time is it? Of course, it's Doki Doki time. <laughs> it's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki, with Monika's help. Because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since. Since it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself anxiously counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whether good or bad. And because the passing by of students was making her feel more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spot she could find to spend her lunch. Because the staircase is under maintenance, no student would have any reason for coming here. It's, a re it's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Wait. Onto maintenance? Before I continue, why in all places would you go to an under maintenance um, staircase? First of all, I've been there before, kind of, in, in my school. You shouldn't be there, like, what if someone else is working on it? And then, of course, there's the, um, the caution sign saying, like, uh, falling debris or, or, or something like that. Word of advice, don't go to under maintenance places because it's unsafe. Because, of course, safety first. <laughs> oh! Hello, Natsuki. Long time no see. Yeep. What are you doing here? Uh, um, I, I just... Yuri grips her book with enough force to wrinkle the pages beneath the pressure of her thumbs. Well? Well, what are you doing here? Hmm. I just came to get a drink from the vending machine. The other one is out of the drink I like. Yuri, no Yuri notices Natsuki fidgeting with a few coins between her fingers. Speaking of vending machines, well, I kind of miss getting drinks from there to be honest. Food as well. Vending machines are cool. Like the gift of humanity. Whenever you go, there's a there's a vending machine and some convenience stores out there. You know, these just because of course food is good. She avoids. She nods, avoiding eye contact. Natsuki, looking away, shuffles over to the vending machine. It's so quiet that every one of her movements seems to reverberate through the entire stairwell. After too long, she finally receives her beverage, which she then fidgets with in place of coins. It's some kind of iced tea. But instead of leaving right away, Natsuki just stands in place. She glances all around her. It's like way too quiet back here. It's creepy. I mean... the. That's not what I meant, really. I mean, it's totally cool it's your thing, or whatever. Like, I can see how it suits you, suits you, so... Well, under maintenance, what would you expect? Not because I think you're creepy or anything. I didn't need that either. You know, I'm just gonna stop talking. That seems like a good idea. It's okay. Everything is okay. Yuri finds herself attempting some words of comfort after hearing Natsuki stammer herself into the... De into de de dejection. There we go. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase and hesitantly sits herself down near Yuri. Well, I can leave if you want. Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap off her drink and takes a sip. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission, Natsuki doesn't say anything more. Yuri continues to read or at least pretends to. Huh. And the two just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade a little bit as time passes. Even without any words, this seems to mean at least something, though it's not clear what that may be. Lunch, lunch ends more quickly than expected. Natsuki is the first to stand up with her empty drink bottle. Are you coming today? To the club? Yuri nods. I, 
I'm sorry for being awkward. I'm really bad at talking about this stuff. I just can't for some reason. I don't know why, but I want to eventually. There's no rush, I promise. Thanks. Okay. It's the next day. Natsuki appears from from around the corner and steps up to the vending machine, glancing at Yuri as she does so. Today, she seems to be holding some kind of book as well. Oh, you're here again. Well, I came here to read this, because there aren't any people around here. Oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, because, but there's no people here. I see. Natsuki sits down. The mood feels much different today than it did yesterday. After yesterday's lunch and the club meeting that followed, Natsuki and Yuri are beginning to feel more relaxed around each other again. Hey, Progress! Ah yes, some progress right there. Now that's good to hear, fellow knights. Although Yuri's letter is still lingering in the back of Natsuki's mind, she continues to detour around it. But it's okay that I'm here. Yeah, I don't care. I mostly just don't feel like de dealing with the crap I get my friends about it. Especially since, like, they all just assumed I stopped reading manga after I joined the Lairdship Club. Not that I'm trying to hide from them exactly. I just don't want to come up again now after I, wa I waited so long for this new volume to come out. Literally months at this point. You don't have other friends who are into manga? Not unless online friends count. And Sayori, but that's different because she's exactly... She's not exactly into it, she just likes it, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Honestly, you're lucky that the books you're into at least just look like books, so you don't have to feel like everyone is constantly judging by what you're reading. That would be so awful, especially since I've... I already hate attention so much. Well, it's a good thing I have thick skin, I guess. By the way, I would totally recommend finding some friends online if you haven't already, if you're like me and have no one to share your hobbies with. Oh, uh, I, I have online friends. Since middle school, actually. I was especially desperate back then. It's somewhat embarrassing to reminisce about those days. Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. Oh, whatever. We are all just stupid kids back then anyway. Some of the fanfics I wrote, thank glob I used a... Procedonym? Procedonym? Is that how you say it? I already know the word procedo, but procedonym? That's new. But I liked it at the time. I got... Oops, sorry. But I liked it at the time. I got a lot of fulfillment out of it. There we go. And plus, I can look back and say with confidence that I've become a better person since then. So I don't think it would change anything. I wonder if a few years from now, we'll think the same thing about our current selves? <laughs> Probably. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? No, of course not. I don't care what other people think of me, especially someone who doesn't even exist yet. Hmm. Alright, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. That's me from the future coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow, I didn't mean to do it that hard. Yuri doesn't seem to react. But then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other way before, other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, loudly smacking her cheek. She turns red and stares into her lap, but is unable to hide a smile, as though it was a really funny joke. Aw, again with that little smile right there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know you had it in you. Uh, I don't. I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it would be funny. S sorry, I keep distracting you. You said you were looking forward to reading, but I keep on going on about all this nonsense. I'll let you get to your reading. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess I'll do that then. The conversation ends quickly and Natsuki opens her book. Hmm. 
The two read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour. But the whole time, Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret over having so abruptly forced the end of their conversation. Aw. We'll talk to her. You're back. Yeah, I'm here to lay low again. Another day has passed. During lunchtime, Natsuki finds herself having wandered to the stairwell once more. Hey, did you buy that? Natsuki quickly notices a bottle of iced tea on the staircase where she normally sits. Yuri nods, avoiding eye contact. What? Like for me? But you didn't know I was coming here today. What if I didn't show up? Well, I just... I mean, I would've drank it myself, I guess. It was a stupid thing to do. No, it... it wasn't stupid. I just thought... Never mind. What I meant to say is, thank you. And that is a really nice gesture. It's... it's okay if you don't feel that way. I do! It was the other things I didn't mean. I swear, please believe me. Mm. Yuri pauses then nods. Talking is hard. I get along I get it wrong a lot too. So I believe you. Natsuki exhales in relief. She then sits down next to Yuri and takes the drink. Knowing Yuri, she was probably overthinking it so much that Natsuki's tepid response filled her with self-doubt. I'll do something nice for you next time. Please, I don't feel obligated. I want to. I want to do nice things too. Okay, thank you. You can thank me after I figure out how to do something nice. I'll do it too then. Natsuki sighs. Hmm? Nothing. It just reminds me how I haven't been getting along with my friends lately. Is that why you've been coming here? Well, no, not exactly. I haven't been avoiding, avoiding them on purpose or anything. There's just other things I'd rather be doing during lunch lately. I like being around them when they're all having fun, but they also just can't take anything seriously. So when I'm, I don't know, feeling serious, then their attitudes just really get on my nerves. It's only gotten worse ever since I joined the literature club. How come? I don't know. I feel like I used to be really good with just putting up with it because it would be so stupid to cause drama over a joke I didn't like or something. But I just have a hard time doing that lately. But it's my fault for being overly sensitive. If I have a problem, I'm not gonna demand for everyone around me to change. But... Yeah, I know. Monoka and Sayori really don't agree with that kind of thing. But they're not in my position, so it's easy for them to say that you should just communicate your feelings or whatever. It's not like my friend group does that kind of thing. I would just be making an embarrassment of myself. Sorry, none of this has anything to do to you. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Well, talking about it just, well, kind of reminds me of me when I was younger. So, long story short, we all make that kind of thing before and uh, it's kind of embarrassing. Since we changed now for the better and all, I guess it's best for us to, you know, speak our mind and uh, be yourself. It's okay. I like listening. What? Listening to other people's problems? Yes. <laughs> That's weird. Sorry, I just like learning about people. Do you think it's weird? N no, it's not weird. I probably just misunderstood, so... I don't know, does that mean I should keep going? If you'd like. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know what to talk about right now. What are some things that you like about your friends? A lot of things. I mean, they're really fun to hang out with, like after school and on the weekends. And they really like my baking. And it's fun to complain about school together. They make me laugh a lot, and we have a lot of good memories and inside jokes. Uh, oh, I had a lot of those things. So? Are those all the things that are important to you? Well, kind of, but they're not things. I need to get, but they're not things I need to get out of everybody. Everyone in the club is really different from that, but I'm still friends with them too. Well, Sayori really likes her baking. She makes you laugh. And she complains a lot. 
that doesn't mean she's anything like my other friends. Well, unlike them, she's a nice person who cares about your feelings. Excuse me? How about you don't talk that way about my friends that you don't know anything about? Natsuki stands up. No, wait. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Uh-oh, not again. I didn't mean to say- I don't want to say anything bad. Please don't leave. Mm. Natsuki shies and shakes her head. It's fine. As long as you understand that you, that you can't just judge people from like that. I'm sorry. Natsuki sits back down. You can't just compare friends like that and like, measure who's better than who. Everyone's different. I'm sorry. I just... I just don't like people who want to hurt you. Oh, Yuri being concerned of Natsuki. Now that's a um, now that's a nice move right there, Yuri. Big brain. Mm -hmm. A moment of silence stretches between them. They don't want to hurt me. We just like to tease each other about stupid things. It's fun. I don't like that. Well, that's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You like it? Hmm. Just don't worry too much so much about me. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help with social conflicts. Like how Monica can. She's good at these things. Not really. Also, I'll I don't always want help. Sometimes it's just stuff I do I have to deal with myself. Don't deal don't deal this with yourself because well, you definitely need someone out there to help you out. That's that's what really matters, cause that's what friendship is. You really need someone out there to look after you. And plus, if and and plus, loyalty. Well loyalty and trust, of course, matters, and that's the most important part about friendship. You have to like trust and be loyal to each other and respect. That's what Monica and Sayori never seem to understand. Sometimes all you do is look at them wrong and they're all like, Uh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? I just want to mind my own business sometimes and decide myself if I want to talk about things. The only one who understands that is you. So you really should be so hard on yourself. You're not as bad as you think. Oh, you don't need to reassure me or anything. I mean that. Plus it makes sense that someone who doesn't talk a lot would make a good listener. Thank you. You're also nice. Mm hmm. It's really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally at all. It's so weird because I always thought of myself as someone who just who can just say whatever on whatever's on my mind. But I feel like that only works when I'm annoyed or upset or I want to say something mean. Why am I like that? You don't have to answer that. I'm just talking to myself. Yuri nods and remains silent. Natsuki notices her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? Oh, well, a lot of reasons. Well, reason one, she's a bookworm. Reason two, uh, she's a bookworm. And reason three, well, she's a bookworm. Easy peasy. <laughs> yep, all three reasons that Yuri likes reading is because She's a bookworm. That's all you need to know. <laughs> but I just get sucked into it so easily. It's so immersive, like I want to be a part of it. I think there are a lot of things about people in real life that make me feel uncomfortable and frustrated. Especially when it comes to following social conventions and group interactions. I just don't really understand it, and I have no real desire to participate. But it's different with books. It feels like I always want to be around the characters. I feel such a strong emotional connection with them in ways I've never felt with real people. So in that way, it can sometimes feel more real than real life. Really? That's hard for you to be around people, like, all the time? Mm, 
fairly often, especially in group settings. Well, I can relate to that one really because, well, aside from, well, my collecting stuff at the back here, I also read books on my free time too, and uh, like manga, comics, novels, all that good stuff, especially the ones that really interest me. I guess I based my personality off of them as well. Well, not just by reading, of course, but also by, you know, cartoons, movies, media, and all that stuff. As long as the character is, well, kind of relatable to you, then that's good. When people are making all kinds of conversation and saying jokes, and all kind and all of that, I don't know what to do, and I just disengage. Oh, that doesn't get lonely? I don't think so. I still, I can still enjoy spending time with people one on one, and I have online friends too, of course. You ever, do you ever wish that you could be friends with the characters in your books? All the time. Sometimes so badly that it makes my heart ache. Yeah, me too. Really? Mm-hmm. A lot. Like, more than anything. After Natsuki mutters that, silence fills the stairwell once more. But it's a mutual silence. One full of understanding. Oh, is that it? I thought there was gonna be more, but uh, that's a cake because there's going to be part two. So, um, well, that's just really, really touching, honestly. And, uh, oh boy, somewhat painful, but in a good way. But, uh, looks like we learned something every day right there. Don't worry, you guys aren't lonely because we are, we have each other right here in this channel and in my community. So, it's okay. If you have anything to say, go ahead. I'm willing to listen, because of course, I'm like Yuri, I'm like Yuri as well. I can listen, and uh, I can pay attention, because you guys are my friends as well. And well, stuff. <laughs> I I don't know what else to say at this point, really, because man, another great side story right off the bat. And of course, we are now coming up with part two. And uh, well, if you enjoy watching this and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe if you haven't already it will help me a lot to make content like this and it's always appreciated and of course click on the bell notification to be notified when i upload ah i'm slowly getting goosebumps already <laughs> don't worry all of us are having goosebumps because it's the last it's going to be the last one and it's going to be a good finale who knows, but we'll see. So if you want to get this game for yourself, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Diamond Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights. Peace out.